Hello, I'm Hide Kim, Director General of Daegu Techno Park Digital Transformation Agency. It's a great honor for me to introduce our city's smart city policy and project. I've worked for 25 years, both private and public organizations, working for the city intelligence, ICT, industrial promotion, and digital transformation. In particular, I am the general manager of the national project of Daegu Smart City. I am a member of the European Living Lab Network and the Secretary General of the Creative City Living Lab Network in Daegu. From my presentation, you can get some ideas and insights how to operate for the citizen participation smart city. So well, now, I'd like to give you a speech about citizen participation smart city project, especially citizen participation smart city use cases, living lab activities, and city innovation platforms in Daegu City, one of the metropolitan in South Korea. First of all, I would like to explain the background of the civic engagement types of smart city. As you know, cities have developed from the modern era beyond the Middle Ages. Through the 20th century, city has evolved into diverse features. Interpreting the city with Chinese characters, familiar to people in the Asian region, helped to understand the essence of the city. In Chinese characters, the city means hybrid ecosystem of administrative governance and market economy. Recently, citizens and users have required to engage in administration and market. This trend is accelerating by the development of digital technologies. Professor Richard Baldwin said, in the 21st century, cities will play the role of the factories during the 20th century. So cities need for innovation platform, participated by agents such as the administration, citizen, local communities, research, institute, university, and business together. However, cities are facing diverse limits such as increasing risk, aging infrastructure, complexity of the economy, and so on. City leaders must satisfy the demands of the citizens using limited budget and resources. The development of new information and communication technologies, such as big data, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, helps to overcome the limits of cities. One of the forms that those technologies are condensed is smart city. Many cities all across the world are already competing for smart city. This slide shows representative cities going ahead smart city. The common characters of these cities are developing civic engagement use cases with technology-intensive smart city. I would like to introduce Daegu a little more. Daegu is the third largest city in South Korea with 2.5 million citizens. Their main industry are machinery, automobile, ICT, and textile. However, the city has faced many crises since 20 years ago. Threats to urban sustainability due to the decline of the manufacturing industries. Over 8,000 young people live in the city each year, increasing debt ratio and less openness to social culture, etc. Worse than the economic problem is isolation and generation care. Externally, Daegu is known for conservative images emphasis on primary relationships and hierarchy and collectivism of patriarchal. So they make Daegu less attractive more and more. This phenomenon asks the new demand for utilizing the city 
innovation platform as a model for new business exec, reinforcing ecosystem of private enterprise, activating community business, developing social problem-solving technology, etc. Special Living Lab is being developed as a user-driven innovation platform that solves social and industrial problems. For overcome those problems, Daegu has operated two types of city innovation platforms, Smart City and Living Lab Project Dados. Daegu pursues the smart, warm, and sustainable eco-friendly city by applying ICT technology to the design, construction, and operation of urban infrastructures with citizen-centric services, rather than the city with high-tech solutions. The Living Lab is located at the core of the city innovation platform using Smart City. To sum up, Living Lab is not a top-down method of problem-solving driven by experts and administration, but a bottom-up way that makes solutions with citizens through experiments using agile process. To operate this Living Lab, it takes so long time for training citizens and defining city problems. Living Lab is not a pop-up definition. Northern European countries already experienced failure on the technology-based innovation and has steadily researched a new innovation model like triple helix. Industry, university, government has steadily suggested quadruple or multiplex model that actual users and citizens engage since the past 10 years ago. All across the world, in all, the European Network Living Lab, which is the leading role of Living Lab movement to find Living Lab, is that a laboratory with a real-life setting and a user-guided innovative platform for solving problems with a community or business setting through participation from multiple agents, such as a citizen, public, community, and business. The operation principles of Living Lab are multiple stakeholders, participation, co-creation, and co-design as well with multiple prototyping and real-life setting. From now, I will introduce the city innovation platform using Living Labs. They has a relationship with European Living Lab Network since 2017. Regarding the Living Lab movement, Daegu is one of the most important partners in Asian countries. We will divide Daegu Living Lab into two separate structures, superstructure and infrastructure. The superstructure is directly connected to the city innovation platform, and the infrastructure is related to three forms of operation at a specific place, as price types of living labs. This slide shows city innovation superstructure. The goal of superstructure is securing the smart city panels to change mechanism. This mechanism separates four parts, stimulation to find a citizen who has creativity, empathy, linkage, DNA, training for smart citizen, facilitation, and diffusion of a change maker. Forum Creative City and Living Lab Network of Daegu operates many problems for this change mechanism, like the civil suggestion program, education learning program, civil communication, and diffusion of innovative culture program. Also, there is the infrastructure of city innovation platform. The goal of infrastructure making innovation happen with smart citizen planners 
who are trained in superstructure using Devo Living Labs. There are three types of living labs in Devo City. Let me introduce them. First, the early living labs. We have tried to find the early, which has an accumulation of city history and culture, and utilize it as a platform to create new jobs by applying urban regeneration. To do this, they have trained early captain and have operate early organized network. There are many early living labs in the city, like Buksongro, Gundegolmo, and Kingonsake. Next, social living labs are used for the system of social innovation that uses their living space as a laboratory to solve social problems. In particular, social living labs are mainly operate to young people with a face point of their views working with various stakeholders in society to find solutions. With social living lab, the city has suggested many solutions for social problems like single mothers, street cat, in information gap between local and metropolitan areas. Based on social innovation ideas to solve social problems that young people have unearthed with, we will develop business models through social startup and social venture. The third living lab of Daegu is smart living lab for the establishment of smart city. Based on these smart living labs, we will use the whole city as a test bed for the smart citizens. We are testing many kinds of smart city solutions in, in special areas. All solutions have belonged to smart mobility, smart living, smart energy, and smart safety. Until now, we, the living lab that operate in Daegu are approximately 115. And the ultimate goal of Daegu living labs is making city innovation easy. Making city innovation easy means the city's social environment is very comfortable where citizens make their agenda was some problem to change, create communities of stakeholders immediately and voluntarily, find definitions and solutions to the problem, apply them as a living lab prototypes, and create continuous feedback. Well, now I would like to explain more about how cities can build city innovation platforms using living lab based smart city. The vision of Daegu Smart City is Smart Daegu, where life and workplace are happy. This vision was changed from the existing technology based smart city. Basically, Daegu Smart City seek industrial innovation and civic happiness. Last 10 years, Tego Smart City progressed steps from the building hardware-based infrastructure to making innovative platform for the city problem solving. In other words, Tego Smart City is on a step of city innovation platform that can provide city engagement, problem solving, and kind technology services. It means that we jumped beyond the first step, we call it that, that seek advanced technologies and infrastructures. Also, we jumped beyond the second step, the line steps, that provides technological service to the public areas for citizens everyday life. The actual developing process of smart city service goes through three stages and completes to access pursued by Daegu, fostering business and civic happiness. In the first stage, Multiple stakeholders define problems to design thinking and solution design. During the second stage, 
defined problems are uh, used for operating civic tech, making corporate sentences. Furthermore, providing a living lab concept, making multiple prototypes, and as I call creation, have proceeded in this stage. In the last days, developed solutions are uh, set in real life, gets consumer citizens feedback and have co-creation with stakeholders. We support those provide technologies, products, and service to have cross-validation with other living lab cities in country or expand overseas operations. From now, I would like to introduce some cases of smart city service applying the above three stages. We developed a Living Lab Smart City Service project named Remote Water Metro System for Seniors Living Alone in 2017. This project is for elderly people living alone in the highland areas and satisfy multiple stakeholders through several prototypes. For example, public workers who have to take care of seniors living alone using water uses, mobile carrier companies who spread and verify IoT networks, water monitoring managers, and infrastructure companies. On top of that, we finished the validation tests of the remote water meter system in Amsterdam and Paris, and succeeded to sign an export contract. Not only this, but we also applied to developing stages on diverse living lab based smart city solution development, such as air pollution resolving control world, an authorized cave solution, and safe guider for use way back home. For the last, I'd like to talk about what we need to do for succeeding in city innovation platform using smart city and living lab. For running this platform successfully, we need to think about the following elements. First of all, the city has to set up its own methodology for smart city service development. They will provide six processes for the city innovation platform by structuring them as a module, such as creating organization, building concept, core design, core creation, commonization, and commercialization. Second of all, it is helpful for the city to set up self organization system for city problem solutions. Here, civic training, building the city problem bank, living lab based technology solution developing, cross validation with other cities, and virtual cycle should be included. So, the goal is important to build a model for changes in civic behaviors. When you solve a city problem, the rest of the problem react following it. It's like a chain reaction. The thing that I want to tell you is that city problems can be ultimately solved when civic behaviors are changing. For this reason, the city innovation platform should be designed to solve problems basically and ultimately using lots of technologies and changing citizens' health naturally. First of all, we have to develop the civic engagement platform that make smart communication. This platform should include all steps from finding out city problems to spreading completely solutions for the last. This smart communication platform make the innovation of a city possible and helps to pursue social values and economic values simultaneously.
Lastly, I would like to suggest this smart communication platform, including Living Lab, Smart City, City Innovation Platform, works as an ultimate response system for the community crisis like COVID-19. For the community to be sustainable, I think the three systems should be working well. First, the necessities of life should not have any problems. It is connected to the economic system. Second, we need freedom of expression and respect opinions of minority. Democracy system support this. And last, for the communities to be sustainable, they need an ability to react and recover ultimately on absorption facing crises such as COVID-19. It means crisis resilience system or new normal innovation system. They has overcome COVID-19 the first, the fatest, and the smartest way. During pandemic situation, we show the civic engagement problem solving way that we trained, learned, and developed through Smart City Living Lab works well in crisis response. I sincerely hope that this city innovation platform could be applied by cities all over the world and helping to make sustainable, creative, and problem solving. Okay, all the presentation I have prepared are finished here. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this, this conference.